We can dance if we want to We can leave your friends behind Cause your friends don't dance And if they don't dance Well, they're no friends of mine See, we can go where we want to Good morning, AC. Today is Tuesday, March 23rd. I'm Megan Markle, here with Prince Harry. And these are your morning announcements to start off your Tuesday. Thanks, honey. All students are reminded that mini thon permission slips are due on Monday to Mr. Clements in the high school or Mrs. Felty in the middle school. It is imperative that these are turned in on time so you can claim your spot for the day. Additionally, all business sponsorship forms are due before Easter break, especially if that business is committing to the t-shirt level or higher. Even if you don't have the check in your hand, but you have a commitment from the business, fill out the form and give it to Mr. Clements or Mrs. Felty before Easter break. The sponsors on the back of the t-shirt will be added during our break, so if you don't submit the business form, we won't be able to include the business on the t-shirt. Here we get those business forms in. Gotta go quick. Speaking of Minithon, on Friday night, April 9th, the Allen Theater is hosting a special fundraiser for AC. They will be showing Back to the Future and holding a Kahoot 80s trivia game. Sounds pretty fun. Mm -hmm. The trivia starts at 7 and the movie begins at 7.30. Tickets are just $5. But due to in-tour capacity limits, seating is limited, so buy your tickets from a THON committee member or Mr. Clemens or Mrs. Felty. This will be a great way to help AC raise a little bit of extra money for THON. Students who missed Jabinski's classes are reminded your mini-THON stall day will be on April 9th. Start collecting that change now so you can participate. I remember stall day until Kreiser. Attention prom goers, Forget Me Not Prom, a local nonprofit, provides free, new, and gently used formal wear for youth, including gowns, jewelry, shoes, and accessories. This year's event is scheduled on April 9th to 11th at the Moeller Center, located at 25 Hope Drive in Hershey. And now, to Isaac and Emma Good with a message from the SAD Club. Impaired driving accounts for more than 16,000 deaths, 1 million injuries, and $45 billion in costs to society every year, according to the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. Driving under the influence of drugs or alcohol is illegal. This driving behavior not only puts a driver at risk, but could result in injuring or killing others. Impaired driver's judgment, reflexes, and coordination are all compromised. Common effects of being under the influence include slow reaction time, alteration of death perception, hyperactivity from a high reduction of peripheral vision, confusion, drowsiness, and lack of awareness of surroundings. Impaired driving puts teens at higher risks of injury or death. And now we have a video highlighting good choices to make while driving. want to wish a happy birthday to Kylie Williams. Have a great day, Kylie. Today's lunch is a sloppy joe sandwich with sweet potato fries and some roasted chickpeas. That is all we have for you today. Have a terrific tarantula Tuesday, AC.